Hi students, now we are going to discuss the second method of a measurement of large distances. The name of the method is parallax method. Now let us try to understand what is meant by parallax. I will consider a pen which is kept in front of me at a, some distance. I observe the position of the pen keeping the wall as the background. First by closing the left eye. Next by closing the right eye. I find that the position of the pen changes whenever I close one eye and observe by the other eye. Alternately if you close the left eye and the right eye and simultaneously if you observe the position of the pen you can see the change in the positions formed on the wall. So the distance between the two positions of the pen formed on the wall is called as the basis. Okay, it is called as the basis and the angle subtended at the eye by the two positions of the pen is called a parallactic angle or parallax angle. So you look at this picture, O is the person who is called the observer and L is the position of the pen. Okay, when he viewed through the left eye. And R is uh, the position of the same pen on the wall when he observed through the right eye. So the distance between the two positions of the pen, left and the right, this distance B is called as uh, the basis. Okay, B is called the basis. And the angle subtended by the two positions of the pen at the observer is called the parallax angle or parallactic angle. So this is called as parallax angle or parallactic angle. Okay. Now I will take the distance of the observer from left and right. They will be same only no. So I will take both these distances as x. I want to measure this distance x only. So for that uh, comparing to this distance x, comparing to this distance x, uh, the positions of the image okay, found on the wall is comparatively lesser. So I will consider this left to right as arc of distance b. So L to R distance is considered to be an arc of the distance b. So this B must be equal to, okay, geometrically, this B must be equal to X into theta or X is equal to B divided by theta. So, this is uh, the distance uh, X of the observer from the two positions of the images. The reverse also is true. The reverse also is true. That method we are going to apply to find the distance of the moon from two positions on the earth. So you can see here this uh, larger circle this is the earth. A and B are the two observing points on the earth which are separated by distance equal to the diameter okay the diameter small d. So d is the diameter of the earth. A is one observing point and B is another observing point. From A and B we are going to observe the moon. We are going to see the moon. So first let us imagine a person is standing at A and he observes the position of the moon with respect to with respect to one star. Okay, one nearest star one. So the position of the moon subtends a parallactic angle theta 1 in the eyes of the observer at A. So theta 1 is the parallactic angle subtended by the moon with respect to one star, with respect to one nearest star, okay, in the observer's eyes. So theta 1 is the parallactic angle as observed from the position A. Then the same person goes to diametrically opposite point B and again he is observing uh, the moon with respect to another nearest star number 2. 
so that this time the parallactic angle subtended at the eyes of the observer is theta 2. Then I join the straight line, okay, from the moon to the center of the earth C. So that this alternate angle will be theta 1, okay, theta 1. And this alternate angle will be theta 2. So what is the total angle subtended by the moon? at the two observing points A and B that is called the parallax angle or the parallactic angle. So the total parallax angle subtended by the moon at A and B. So this uh, parallax angle okay or uh, parallactic angle okay both are one and the same. So this parallax angle theta is equal to what uh, theta 1 plus uh, theta 2. Now let us take the distance, okay, the distance AM is equal to BM. So the distance AM is equal to BM, that is approximately equal to the distance of the moon from the earth, okay. So by this method, the distance of the moon from the earth, namely X can be determined, okay. So in this case, in this case, suppose if this is uh, x, uh, the distance uh, am is equal to bm is equal to x and this uh, total parallax angle is equal to theta, then this uh, diameter d, then the diameter d must be equal to x into theta, x into theta. Therefore, x is equal to what? Uh, d divided by theta. So, in this case, d is... Uh, equal to the basis the distance between the two observing points okay so this is uh, d is equal to the basis so the distance of the moon with respect to two observing points a and b on the earth that can be determined not only the distance of the moon we can also determine the distance of the nearest planet mars from the surface of the earth so like this uh, any distant object's distance can be found from the surface of the earth. So such a method is called as the parallax method. Now this concept of a parallax sometimes may be used in doing experiments in optics. That is a light and its properties. And also some vertical view measurements. Okay, suppose you take you take a magnetometers magnetic experiments whenever you do means the magnetic compass box will be placed on the horizontal table and you are supposed to view vertically from the top okay suppose if you close one eye and see the readings uh, next time by closing the other eye and if you observe the readings uh, both will not be the same because of this uh, parallax angle subtended at the eye so an error will be caused in such experimental measurements that error is called as parallax error. So you will study while doing those experiments. So the concept of parallax is uh, used here to find the large distances. I hope you have understood.